Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another exciting video. Today is a very sunny afternoon here in Melbourne and if you notice that we're not wearing any jackets, it's because it's officially springtime! And before we start the video, we just want to celebrate our achievement of 100 subscribers. Yay! <laughs> so as a token of appreciation to everyone who subscribe and watch our videos, we would like to run a simple contest. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is answer this simple question. How many times did I say the word tasty on our previous episode wherein we reviewed the pub snacks in Mount Hotam? Comment down below your answers, and then one lucky winner will get a whopping $20. <laughs> but $20 is still $20, guys. And we'll announce the winner next episode. So just sit back and relax, and let's start the video. Yes! Step one, wake up, brother, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. So for today's episode, we're going to Alabama's Chicken and Wings in Endeavor Hills. Thank you, Paige, for suggesting this place to us. We are excited to try some southern style crispy fried chickens. Mm. So grab your <laughs> drinks, open your bottle of beers, and let's go grab some chickens. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay guys, so Christian is now in Alabama's Chicken and Wings restaurant, and hopefully he comes back very soon because I'm really craving for fried chickens. We got the chickens and it's time to try them. Let's see what they taste like. Yes. I'm excited <laughs> to taste the southern style crispy fried, fried chicken. chicken. <laughs> First on our menu is the southern fried chicken. And with this one, yeah. it have a traditional southern recipe mm -hmm. seasoned with a delicious crispy crust fried to perfection. So it's basically a fried chicken yeah. with a southern recipe that it's like a secret recipe for them. Yes, it looks like delicious. It smells so. like good as well. <laughs> yeah, the aroma of the fried, fried chicken, chicken, it's really good. <laughs> we also ordered two sauces for them. Yes. So one is a non-spicy sauce, mm -hmm. the other one is a spicy sauce. So the actual name is Alabama White, which is this one. The white sauce. White sauce. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is the hot Alabama Reaper. Mm -hmm. So the hot Alabama Reaper, they have three levels. Mm. One is mild, one is medium, and one is hot. This one's the hottest because I want to see how hot it is. <laughs> right. Which sauce do you want to try first? Yeah, I want the um, Alabama white. Yeah, but I wanted to try it first without the sauce. So okay. yeah, I wanted to see if it's good even without the sauce. So let me try this I'll one. Hold it for you. So I got the wings part. Ooh, one of my favorite parts. <laughs> it's very crispy. You know my regret? I regret that I don't have a beer right now. <laughs> Here, look at this. Yeah. It's 
very crunchy. Mmm. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can. Yeah, it's very crunchy on the outside, but the chicken is very tender on the inside. So okay. it's really good. Is there any difference with the normal fried chicken, like the ones that we cook at home? I think for the ones that we just buy in the groceries, the breading tends to separate from the chicken. Mm -hmm. But this one is not, so you will still be able to eat the crunchy part. Okay. It's still um, on the chicken. Okay. So, yeah, it's good. And I will now try the one with the sauce. And the chicken is not too salty. Okay. So, yeah. It's good. The Alabama white looks like mayo with mm -hmm. some. There's red sprinkles in it, but I don't know what's mm. the. I like the sauce. It tastes like mayo or like a it's, tartar sauce. There's a mix of sourness and a little bit of saltiness, like the mayonnaise. Okay. There's a very very small hint of spiciness yeah but it's not too much okay. I mean the just to give you a little bit yes. of excitement yes that's right yeah it's good <laughs> let me try it one one more time I like the sauce it's good it smells good too mm -hmm. the chicken smells so good <laughs> it smells so good I will now try the other sauce the, the spicy one yeah, are I you sure just very very small okay dip. because the so the one that I got is very spicy like the hottest Okay. Anyway, we got, we got water here. Really. <laughs> Hot Alabama Reaper. Okay, so very, very small dip. Yeah, it's really spicy. Really spicy. It's now my turn to try the chicken. Yeah. Initial thought is it's very crispy. Oops. Mm -hmm. Very crispy. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. And I wish I have a beer here. <laughs> First bite. I can hear the crunchiness. <laughs> Very crunchy. But I can't tell the difference between the southern style fried chicken or mm -hmm. normal fried chicken. Mm -hmm. It's crispy on the outside and very tender on the inside. Mm -hmm. um, it's really cooked. Cooked well. Mm -hmm. There's no blood or anything. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Um, I try the one with the Alabama yeah. white sauce. Yeah, the white sauce. Mm. Good, right? It's way better with the sauce. It gives you additional flavor. Mm -hmm. And this one, the mild spice in it. Mm -hmm. I'll try the one with the Reaper sauce. <laughs> Ooh, good, spicy. Good. Yeah. <laughs> this one's very spicy. It's really spicy. So, if you are, just for me, if you're not fond of spicy food, don't grab the hot one. So maybe the mild or the medium hot. Yeah, should be enough. maybe. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you won't lose the taste of eating the rest of the food. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. So for the second item on our menu, it's the southern fried boneless chicken. This is just like the first one, but without bones. <laughs> Again, it smells so good. <laughs> yeah, I think Christian, you can try it. Try it now. Okay. Yeah. I'll try yeah. it with the Alabama white sauce first. This one, you can really taste the southern style. Mm -hmm. It's a bit different from the normal fried boneless chickens that I've tried before. Like gummy. This one's a bit different. And it's still the same. It's very firm on the inside and then crunchy on the outside. Now I'll try with the reaper sauce. Mm. It's still crunchy, right? Mm. Mm. Can you hear it? Yeah, I can hear it. <laughs> it's crunchy. <laughs> And is it the same flavor with the first one that we tried? It's supposed Just to be. The same. Yeah, but for this one, I can tell that there's a different flavor on the on the coating. Okay. Woo! <laughs> spicy. <laughs> it's very good. It's good as well. Very okay. good as well. It's my turn. Yeah. I'm gonna dip it in the white sauce. Can you hear the crunchiness of the skin? It's really good. And it's much easier to eat than the original chickens because this one is boneless, so mm. you wouldn't need to find the bones. <laughs> you won't have to struggle. Yes. I like it. 
the chicken it's uh, also tender and it, it, it's very very crunchy on the outside it's good so third item on our menu it's the crispy fried wings and drumettes mm -hmm. and with this one it says it got buttered fried and tossed in your choice of seasonings mm -hmm. or sauces we selected seasonings on this one and then the seasoning that we selected is the bourbon southern I'll let you try this one, Janelle. Okay, my turn. Which sauce do you want to try first? Oh, no, uh, no, hold on. Don't grab the sauce first because this one got seasoning. Okay. So. Yeah, I'll grab a bite without the, without the, the sauce, sauce first. first. Okay. It smells so good. There's a different smell on this one, probably because of the seasonings. There's a huge difference in the taste of this mm -hmm. from the other ones that we've tried. The seasoning adds more flavor to the chicken it, and it's good. It's good. It's not too salty. It's just right. Okay. Yeah, it's good. I it's think good. even without the sauce, you can mm. just eat it by, it, by itself. Its own. Yeah, by its own. We try to dip it with um, the white sauce. It's crunchy. <laughs> it's crunchy. Mmm. It's really good. Still, the chicken meat is very tender and it's very crispy outside. Whether um, you eat it uh, without the sauce or with the sauce, it's both good. Yep. I like the sound of the, the crunchiness, crunchiness <laughs> of the chicken. Good. You want to try the Alabama Reaper with your chicken? Mm -hmm. You might need another chicken. <laughs> no, I think it's okay. <laughs> Good. Now it's my turn to try the chicken. <laughs> it smells so good. Looks so good too. Mm -hmm. You're right. Mm -hmm. There's a different flavor in this one because of the seasoning. It's very nice. Tastes like Doritos. The seasoning <laughs> tastes like Doritos. I'll try with the Reaper. Good. I'll finish it before Junior finish it for us. <laughs> Very good. good. Very good. <laughs> I like it. So last item on our menu, it's sweet potato wedge. Mm. So these are just regular sweet potatoes, but they're gonna be a good complement for your chicken. Let's try both of them at the same time. Yeah, sure. Without the sauce so. first. It's good. good. <laughs> Tastes like sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Not in the crunchy side. Not I'll try crispy. one more. It's not crispy at all. Mm. <laughs> You can taste a bit of saltiness in it, mm -hmm. but not that much, So, which is good if you don't like salty foods. Mm -hmm. Nothing special, just, yeah. the, just the sweet potato. Yeah. Alright, we reached the part wherein we give our opinions mm -hmm. for Alabama Southern Fried Chickens. So we got four items. It's Southern Fried Chicken, the Southern Fried Chicken but boneless, the Crispy Wings and Drummets, and last is the Sweet potato wedge. Mm -hmm. For me, uh, my fourth place will be the sweet potato wedge. It's just because a side dish for the chicken, but it's a good partner for the chicken. Third place for me will be the southern fried chicken. The reason that it's on my third place is because I didn't really taste any difference of the chicken from a normal fried chicken. Mm -hmm. And plus, it's not boneless. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like additional effort. It's not a big deal. But of course, if you get a selection between a boneless chicken and a non boneless chicken, mm -hmm. you always want something that you just put in your mouth and just munch on it. Mm -hmm. So that's just me. And then my second one will be the crispy wings and drummets. I like the seasoning on it. I wish that the seasoning can be added onto the normal southern fried chicken. I don't know if it can be done. I didn't really check with them. But if it can be done, then I suggest that if you buy the southern fried chicken, add the seasoning because it's add additional flavor in it. Mm -hmm. So that's the second place for me. My number one pick will be the southern fried chicken boneless. It's just, it's very convenient to eat the chicken that is boneless. The meat is very tender inside. The coating of the chicken is very crispy. I'm not sure if you heard it, but you can actually hear the crunchiness when we're biting on the yeah. chicken itself. <laughs> and then the sauces gives additional flavor. It complements the chicken. Okay, cool. 
Well, nice one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for my rankings, I think for the um, potato wedges, I don't want to include that in the rankings because I can just eat it at the same time with any of those chickens. Right. So I'll just rank it from the third place. So I think for the third place is the chicken wings and drumettes. Mm. That one is the chicken with the extra flavor, right? Yes. Yeah, it's because I'm. I think as much as possible, I don't want to have a lot of sodium. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure it's sodium? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the more flavor that you get from a food, mm -hmm. I think the more sodium it is. So okay. <laughs> it's nice too. I mean, the taste is really good. Mm. But then, if I can eat without it, without that additional seasoning mm. it's just fine with me so the second place is the regular southern fried chicken the one with the bones yep as you mentioned that has bones and you know it's it's an extra effort to eat it because you need to find the bones and to find the lean meat there in the chicken but it's still not too much effort but it's it's still in the second place <laughs> for the first one the first place for me it's the boneless chicken because you can just buy it like even with the whole that whole chicken you can just put it in your mouth yes <laughs> correct yeah so i think that's fine with me that's the best um chicken for me the the boneless one so all in all the alabama fried chicken they are very good it's a must try and they are on the cheap side as well actually yes. they are not that expensive all this food mm -hmm. cost me around fifty dollars mm. but it's like one is ten piece chicken one is five piece chicken the other one is six piece the small wings and drumlets mm -hmm. and then we got like a heaps of sweet potato wedge yes. as well i don't know the exact amount of every chicken that i got mm -hmm. it's because i got the receipt here in front of me <laughs> there's no price next to it and even on the menu there's no price in it yeah but with with the price that i paid with the amount of food that we got it's in the cheap side mm -hmm. yeah. and also for asians you can also pair it with rice if you <laughs> like <laughs> correct yeah okay so if you want to try alabama chicken and wings Please see the website in the description down below to try their um, different varieties of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> they got heaps of branches around Melbourne. So if you visit their website, just check the ones that's closest to you. Mm -hmm. They're not just chickens as well. Got other foods on their menu. Just check them out. A must try. This is the end of our episode. Thank you so much for watching us and we'll see you again next week for another fun video of Mr. and Mrs. Morsi! Bye! Bye.